So was the president's behavior inappropriate? She has a nice smile on her face. We asked human resources expert Joey Price. Trump's comment to the Irish reporter was totally inappropriate. Is that what you're seeing, Joey, in the workplace for the clients that you serve? What I'm seeing in the workplace, Christopher, is it's causing employers to have a take a second look at their uh, sexual harassment policy. He hosts a weekly podcast called Business, Life and Coffee, where he gets to ask really smart experts about their industry and their personal growth stories. He's going to talk about acting like a manager, thinking like a marketer, employee management techniques in the age of the conscious consumer. You know, I speak with small business owners and startup founders across the country, and they all ask me this one important question. So without further ado, if you have two free hands, please clap them and help me welcome my friend, Joey Price. With Jumpstart HR, a human resources consulting firm with offices in greater DC and New York City. I want to inspire you to take three key actions. And if you can repeat those after me, that's learn, Think and act. I believe that marketing is a huge, huge, huge skill that the HR professional of the future needs to understand and be able to implement. It's cool to go to networking events and meet with your coworkers and say, I am so busy and use that as a sign of status or success. That might not be the most efficient and effective way to grow your organization. That's why on the Business Life and Coffee podcast episode 135, I speak with Scott Beebe about all of the systems you need so that you can stop being so busy and focus on being the chief training officer in your organization. We are inundated with messages and marketing and best practice articles that tell us what it means to go to a workplace that you can enjoy and that you love. Well, if we show up to an organization where we're not seeing those same messages, there's this workplace cognitive dissonance that happens where the messages that we see on our phone and read in the morning are totally different from the messages that we see at work. I would like to take a moment so people can know who this great leader is here. So Joey Price is an award-winning human resource executive. He's a business coach. He's a leadership coach, thought leader. He's also a professor. He's the founder of Jumpstart HR LLC. I challenge you when you go back to your offices to ask your employees what they want and then execute on it. You don't want to lose your best employees because you don't have some of these things in place. You are a leadership expert or a leadership coach, and there are a lot of leaders here on the platform. But also, there are some people who may not necessarily see themselves as leaders. Right. So can you, can you address those individuals for a second? Well, sure. So, and I'm kind of talking to myself here too, because when you said leadership expert, I looked around, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> We are all consumers. When we are working at our jobs, HR serves as the internal marketer to the employees, and we're delivering the messages and the promises every day to our organization's employees. Do I buy what my employer is selling me? If you're watching and you're all about the numbers, well, that equates to $3.5 million of economic impact that loneliness can have on our economy. So if at work, we're getting messages of, you're not important, you're not valued, we have no more room for you to grow, we're gonna exit. If we're reading on our phones, top tips for employee engagement and top tips for leading up at work, and we don't have those opportunities to do that at work, we're gonna start our own firm. We have uh, fought far too often on, on this matter, uh, pitted leadership versus the employee in question. We've pitted uh, power, the powerful versus the powerless. And I think this Me Too conversation is requiring us to, to really think about that dynamic and really ask ourselves, what does the good of the employer actually mean? Our goal today is to think of some ideas, and I'm gonna share with you some ideas to help reduce that cognitive dissonance 
and to give you a better marketing toolkit that you can implement at your office.